And President Trump won this election, so everyone who's listening, do not be quiet. Do not be, do not be silent about this. We cannot allow this to happen before our very eyes. We unite together. Now, you don't need to be a Republican. You believe in every legal vote needs to count. You believe in the American process. Join together and let's stop this. <laughs> oh, no. Before we get started on this one, I want to quickly invite you all to my brand new Discord server. Yes, I'm doing this again for some reason. Come for the memes, stay for the community. You can get that link in the description or pinned comment down below. Now, I know many of you do not like Kevin McCarthy, but in this case, I have to defend him. Boo this man! Because, as usual, the Democrat state propagandists seem to have a serious blind spot when it comes to seeing their own reflection. Our subject, Aaron Rupar, a far left-wing Democrat Party activist posing as a journalist, is no stranger to his hypocrisy being on full display. But this never seems to stop him. He was one of the first hacks to get suspended after Elon took over because he decided to dosk Musk and his family. He once claimed stolen valor because someone reposted a video Rupar himself had taken from someone else and reposted. You serious? It's so bad, there's an actual term for what he does called Ruparing, meaning to purposely mislead, to completely mischaracterize a statement or video by omitting context. <laughs> I swear, that's just like standard operating procedure for our mass media. So yeah, the guy's a rupering prick, and the blowback from his tweet today attacking McCarthy is highly entertaining. Flagging this clip for people who seem to be forgetting that McCarthy is an election denier who has accommodated extremists in his party at every turn. Wait, what? Oh no, not an election denier. Gee, it's a good thing the Democrats minority leader, Hakeem Jeffries, isn't one of those dangerous threats to democracy. Except he is. You did say the history will never accept Donald Trump as a legitimate president, and the Republicans are making quite a big issue out of that. What is your response? Well, here's the Republican playbook. Facts don't matter. Hypocrisy is not a constraint to their behavior. And in many cases, they believe that shamelessness is a superpower. Oh my God. Because John Lewis is completely right. There is a cloud of illegitimacy around the election of Donald Trump. The Russians interfered with his election. James Comey and the FBI interfered with his uh, election. The fake news industry interfered with his election. I'm not really here to tell the truth. You are here to participate in a continuing cover-up. Russia interfered with this election in sweeping and systematic fashion. The American people deserve to know whether Donald Trump is either A, a legitimate president, B, a Russian asset. Seems to me that there's a cloud of illegitimacy that continues to hang over 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Russia interfered with our election, attacked our democracy for the sole purpose of artificially placing someone at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They were successful. <laughs> that matters because it's different when Democrats do it. And Hakeem Jeffries is the first black speaker of the house, so different standards apply. In fact, what McCarthy did there is no different than what Democrats have done after every single election they've lost since 2000. As Joel Pollack brutally points out, Rupert again, claiming Trump had won while legal challenges remained and before the electoral college had voted was not only entirely legitimate, but also good politics. See Hillary Clinton's advice to Joe Biden. Democrats claimed, and still do, Trump was never really elected. Oh, that's gonna hurt! Rupar attempts to strike back, but just steps on another rake. <laughs> McCarthy voted to reject the election results after the insurrection on January 6th. Aaron is just Ruparing hot, sticky Rupar all over the place. There was no insurrection. And no, McCarthy did not vote to reject election results. Unless, of course, we're trying to apply double standards here, <laughs> which of course he is. Voting to send back results from two states does not make one an election denier. Unless you are willing to extend that definition to Democrats who tried similar votes, such as the chair of the January 6th committee and several other members. McCarthy does not deny Biden won in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. Remember that Black Caucus effort to decertify Florida and overturn the 2000 election that I told you about earlier? Benny Thompson, the January 6th Commie Committee chairman, was part of that effort. <laughs> yeah, I gotta tell you, this one just about gave me another embolism. It's just another brazen attempt by a Biden regime stooge in the media to attempt to rewrite history and normalize the idea that Democrats have different standards than their political opponents. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.